TV for a low $699.99. Only at Brands Mark USA. joining us. Coverage you can count on begins with an update in an Aiken County death investigation. We now know the identity of the person whose body was found on a porch in Warrenville Wednesday. The victim is identified as 52-year-old Joseph A. Keenan Sr. His body was discovered at a home on Augusta Road. Deputies say the death is considered suspicious. People we spoke with are concerned about recent crime in their area. I've had that going on here and it's just it's turned into a old cowboy day I guess just a kid and every day somewhere. and uh, it's gotta be stopped an autopsy is scheduled for Friday it is time now for a first check of the weather let's check in with our just a few minutes Brad Jenny all right thanks so much Tim the Bassmaster College and Youth Fishing Tournament has made its way to Columbia County. The college tournament today and tomorrow, high schoolers and juniors take center stage over the weekend. Hannah Latier joins us now live from Wildwood Park in Appling to show us what anglers at the lake reeled in. Hannah? Guys, teams from all of colleges all across the country, over 240 of them, showed up today to try and catch the biggest bass in the lake. They got out on the lake at around 9 a.m. and started coming back for weigh-ins at around 3. The fish will be released afterward. The top three teams will get trophies. The top 10 teams will receive college scholarships. And $200 will be awarded for the biggest bass. Sponsors are also out here offering the teams things like scholarship opportunities and discounts on gear. Tournament goers believe this is a great way for youth to get involved with the sport while also learning about conservation. This is giving kids an opportunity, and that's what's nice about that. Having the right support and putting them together with the host, Bass, and the sponsors, it's a win-win situation. So thank you on behalf of Bass and the uh, team there at Visit uh, Columbia, Georgia. To the national championships in August, and that location isn't known yet. For now, live in Abilene, Hannah Latier, WJBS News Channel 6. One of the loudest voices to cut spending in the Augusta budget is now asking the city to adjust the spending plan. Mayor Garnett Johnson drawing some criticism after going before the Finance Committee for a $25,000 adjustment to his budget for office furniture. But the mayor points out he ended last year with a $60,000 surplus, and all he wants is to use some of that money and not increase his current budget. It was not an, uh, an, an advocacy or ask for any additional funding for fiscal year 2024. As you know, actually, we took a budget reduction, a 1% budget reduction, and uh, we were just asking that some of the unused funds from fiscal year 2023 that we did not use, that a portion of it, be put to a capital line item in the event we needed the funding for anything related to 2024. One commissioner calls it a slap in the face, though, that the mayor would call for a 1% cut for all city departments and then ask for an adjustment to his budget before the end of January. But as you heard the mayor say, the surplus was there. Some North Augusta high school parents say they're upset that the school's band is losing its storage space on campus. Why? Well, because they're building new baseball and softball fields right across from their football stadium. The parents say they've worked with the school to try to find a new spot for storage, but all requests they say were denied. They say it's frustrating. They didn't know how much work all their fellow parents and kids put in. You know, on weekends when we have competitions, you know, the parents are there early to get them out of storage, get them set up so they can use. Then we got to take them back apart, load them on trucks to take transport to competitions. And with what we've had to do with our storage, 
our our Comex boxes that we use for storage now, it's just going to make it even harder for us to do that. We have reached out to the Aiken County School District. We haven't heard back just yet. We're going to hear from more parents coming up on News Channel 6 at 5. Republican presidential hopeful Nikki Haley is hosting... Sunday is Transit Equity Day, marking the birthday of civil rights activist Rosa Parks, born 110 years ago. Tonight, the city of Aiken is celebrating her life and her role to bring equity to transportation. It's going to be at the Center for African American History, Art, and Culture. That's in Aiken from 6 till 9. We'll cover it for you on News Channel 6 at 10 and 11. And please be sure to tune in for our Black History Month special. Join Dee Griffin and Renetta DuBose Thursday, February 22nd, 7 p.m., right here on News Channel 6. Coming up, new cancer cases are on the rise. What doctors say can help lower your risk. And you have an opportunity to go on the links tomorrow. Let's have a look at that forecast. It is promising to be a pretty nice day. The tea time is early and going to be cold, but it's by afternoon time. It's delightful. Forecast today. Bye. Road trip, Wednesdays at 1230 on WJBF News Channel 6. The World Health Organization put out new information today noting that cancer rates are up. There were an estimated 20 million new cancer cases and close to 10 million deaths in 2022. Here's Rena Roy. Cancer rates are on the rise around the globe, according to the World Health Organization, which says about one in five people will develop cancer in their lifetime. Globally, cases are projected to increase by about 77% in the next 25 years. Lung cancer, along with breast, prostate, stomach, and colorectal, are the top five cancers worldwide believed to be responsible for about 50% of new cases. Colorectal cancer increasing in people in their 30s, their 40s. We don't know why. There are a number of factors at play. Those are not people who are recommended to get the routine screening that starts at age 45 for the average risk person. Their symptoms a lot of times can be dismissed by a health care provider. And again, diet, obesity, environmental factors, all theory. Overall, living a healthy lifestyle may help lower your risk. About 40% or more of cancer cases are thought to be preventable by certain factors, eating a healthy diet, staying physically active, keeping your weight in a healthy range, not smoking, limiting alcohol consumption. WHO officials also calling for better health care around the world. Failing to include cancer as part of UHC triggers a vicious cycle. When people diagnosed with cancer are told they have to pay out of pocket, they are less likely to seek help, less likely to receive treatment, and less likely to complete their care. That makes cancer more deadly and more expensive for economies, particularly as the burden of cancer increases. The World Health Organization says we'll likely see a 142% increase in cancer cases by 2050 in countries that have the fewest resources to manage this current cancer burden. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. For the first time, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin addressing how his recent hospitalization was kept secret from the president. He says he did not handle the situation right. Secretary Austin says he was wrong for not telling President Biden about his prostate cancer diagnosis. He also says he never directed anybody not to tell the White House that he was in the hospital. Austin admitted to the ICU New Year's Day after complications following prostate cancer surgery. So taking this kind of job means losing some of the privacy that most of us expect. The American people have a right to know if their leaders are facing health challenges that might affect their ability to perform their duties, even temporarily. So a wider circle should have been notified, especially the president. The handling of the situation currently under review. We'll be right back. evening. Investigators say the hit and run happened at the child's home on Outer Circle in Emanuel County. We don't know the name of the young victim. We do know law enforcement has arrested the suspect, Joshua Walker Purvis, out of Kite, Georgia. He's in the Emanuel County Jail for questioning. 
Some railroad crossings are back open after closures due to resurfacing work. That includes the crossing at Alexander Drive at Riverwatch Parkway and the crossing at Clawson Road off Riverwatch. Other openings include the ones at Broad Street near Green and 9th, 11th, and 12th Streets near Walton Way. In East Augusta, the tracks between 5th Street and Laney Walker Boulevard, however, remain closed. They're still working after six CSX cars derailed there last Friday. No word on when that crossing will be fully repaired and back open to traffic. Coming up, a unique find in the UK. What is it from CSO, Lake and Augusta Highway? You know, you've got it pretty good. Swimming this much stuff was never this easy. <laughs> nice eye thingies. They're collagen boosters. Get internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $20 a month for 12 months. And add now TV for $20. It's the best value in live TV and streaming. You guys like this show too? Yes, chef! Get way more into what you're into when you stream on the Xfinity 10G network. Honoring black history, we salute Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. by acknowledging those he inspired. Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson, an astrophysicist and is the director of the Hayden Planetarium at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. History is sponsored by the Mike Costello Law Firm. With you, for you. Alice loves the scent of.